January 30th, 2020. COVID-19 knocked on India's door. A student from Kerala who was studying at a university in Wuhan and had come home to Thrissur to spend her vacation tested positive. May 19th, 2020. Three and a half months later, India has over one lakh coronavirus cases. How did we reach this landmark? The first 100 cases in the country were reported in 45 days. From 100 to 1,000, it took 14 days. In the next 16 days, India's tally went up to 10,000. And then it just took 8 days for the total number of COVID-19 cases in the country to cross 20,000. The next 10,000 cases took 7 days and in the 4 days after that, India had crossed the 40,000 mark. From there, in a matter of 3 days, the country had reported over 50,000 novel coronavirus cases. Another 7 days and 25,000 new cases were reported, taking India's tally to 75,000. It took another 6 days for India to report 1 lakh coronavirus cases. The last few days have seen a steep surge, clocking around 5,000 cases a day. With this landmark, India now sits on the 11th spot in the global COVID cases tally. Deaths due to COVID have crossed the 3,000 mark. But the good news is that the death rate in India remains in control at just over 3% and recovery rate high at over 34%. Until now, close to 40,000 patients have recovered from the contagion. Maharashtra, Gujarat, Tamil Nadu, Delhi, Rajasthan and Madhya Pradesh are the five worst affected states in the country. Covid, which initially remained urban-centric, has now spread to 550 of 736 districts, spreading its footprint to 180 new districts in the last 15 days. Bihar, Jharkhand, West Bengal, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh witnessed the maximum increase in number of districts affected since May 1st. This rural footprint of coronavirus has been attributed to the return of migrant workers to their villages and towns. India is now living through the fourth phase of the nationwide lockdown. Economic activity has run aground in the close to 60 days that India has stayed home. According to a study by international management consultancy firm Arthur D. Little, up to 135 million jobs could be lost and 120 million people might be pushed back into poverty due to virus-induced economic disruptions. If all these big numbers scare you, think again. A big surge in the COVID cases might just be around the corner. Several experts and epidemiologists have warned that India will see the COVID peak in July to August. So we might be in for even scarier figures. Until then, fingers crossed and stay safe.